Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back on another video. In this video, I'm just gonna be talking about keto staples that I have in my refrigerator or at my house all the time doing this lifestyle change. I always have these things on hand. Like as soon as I run out, I like immediately go get some more or else I always just buy double of whatever things are. So I'm gonna let you know what those things are in this video. And hopefully this video will help you with um, staying on track with keto and helping you to know like different types of things that you'll need to have doing this diet. So stay tuned and we're gonna get into the video. Oh, Keto Friday. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is flour. These are the main two flours used in keto. We have almond flour here. The super finely ground is the best kind to get, not the almond meal. And then we have coconut flour. So instead of using regular flour, which has a lot of carbs and all of that stuff that you don't want, you use these flours. Between these, with the research that I've done, it seems like the almond flour is the better version to use. But a lot of people use coconut flour. Either version is better than regular flour. So that's one staple thing that I, well, these are staple things that I have always, like if I ever have an urge to make some keto pancakes or try any type of dessert, you're gonna need one of these flowers sometime both. So make sure you keep these on hand. I got both of these, no, I got this one from Ralph's and I got this one from Target. So yeah. The second thing that I always have in my refrigerator is butter. I always get the salted butter because it tastes better. The unsalted butter has no flavor, so I just don't even use it at all. And I got this sweet cream butter on accident, but I just put it in my bulletproof tea or bulletproof coffee. And that's the second thing that I always have in my refrigerator. The next thing that I always keep is cheese. Cheese is a really great thing to always have because cheese is very, very low in carbs, very high in fat. I have Parmesan here and I have cheddar here. You can get sliced, shredded, whatever kind you would like. Late at night when I'm doing my um, fasting, I usually eat like the cheese crisps. I'm gonna show you what they look like. These cheese crisps are from Fresh Gourmet. I had the Parmesan and Asiago kind. I do fasting at nighttime and you can eat as long as the food has no carbs and these have zero. Sweetener is another very important staple in keto for me because I love sweet stuff. That was one of the reasons why I couldn't lose weight before because I love sweets. So these sweeteners help me to um, balance that out on keto. These are the two types of sweeteners I use. I use this stevia with monk fruit, the single packets. If I'm making any type of drinks, bulletproof coffee, bulletproof tea, then I just put a couple of those in. But if I'm baking, then I use this kind, stevia by Kroger brand. Sweetener, very, very important. If you wanna make any desserts, you're gonna need some type of sweetener. So just make sure you keep these uh, sweeteners on hand. Now this, is definitely one of the most important things on keto. This will help you so, so much. This little vegetable will help you in keto so much, and it is cauliflower. Cauliflower has so many options, you won't even notice that bread is missing from your diet. Cauliflower pizza crust, cauliflower mac and cheese, mashed cauliflower, rice cauliflower. So just explore your options with this great vegetable. And hopefully you like it because it really is like very helpful. So another important thing for keto is eggs. As we all know, eggs are great for protein, but they also have no carbs, so they're great for keto. If you wanna start doing baking with keto, make sure you keep eggs in your refrigerator because you're gonna need them, period. And another very important staple for me, as you can see with all of this, is tea, okay? Tea is very important because I drink coffee occasionally, but it's not as soothing or refreshing to me as tea is. This is the coffee I'm currently using for my Bulletproof coffee, the Starbucks hazelnut flavor. This tea I have, I have like so many teas. I'm gonna show you all the different kinds that I have. I have a lot of green tea. This one with white tea and honey lemon ginseng. This is the one I'm using for my Bulletproof tea. So good, such a sweet taste. The next one is a detox tea I haven't tried yet, but I'm excited to get to try it. I'm most likely drink that one at nighttime. And this one is for my water. Tea I use a lot too because I do um, fasting. I do intermittent fasting four days out of the week. So 
um, before I start eating, sometimes after I start eating, then I'll drink tea. And if I drink it after I start eating, I'll drink the sleepy time one because I am not trying to be up all night, okay? I'm trying to go to sleep. And the rest of these green teas and stuff will have you up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tea front. On to the next one. Cream cheese and heavy whipping cream are two other staples that I always have. Both of these things can be used in sweet or savory dishes during keto. The cream cheese I've used in keto mac and cheese with cauliflower, and I've used it also in keto cheesecake. And the heavy whipping cream I use in my Bulletproof coffee, and I've also used it to make an Alfredo sauce. So there's options. Next important staple, very important staple, I'm gonna talk about is oils. So I have a nice array of oils here. This first oil is extra virgin olive oil. I'm sure everybody has this in their house. And I use this to mostly cook and I sometimes put it on my salad. The next one is MCT oil, which is also very important. It's derived from coconut oil and it stands for medium chain triglycerides. I put this in my bulletproof tea, bulletproof coffee. It helps me to get the fat in. If I wanna put butter in, I also do that. The next one is gonna be the avocado oil, which is definitely one of my go-to oils for cooking. Any of these oils that you want to pick, you can use for um, keto, for cooking, or I put this, no, I use, I make a salad and I use uh, extra virgin olive oil for the dressing of my salad. So it's a lot of different things you can use for um, the oil, like it's a lot of different uses that the oils have, so yeah. And then, of course, one of the most important things to do with great fats is avocado. Of course, avocados are so great because you can use them in so many things, so many different types of ways. So if you're ever down on your fat number, just go get avocado and that will definitely help you to raise your fat numbers up. And so these, so these are some different other staples that I also keep. So these are the electrolytes I use, Himalayan pink salt. This is the best salts they say to get. I use it in a lot of cooking. I also use these valley salts I got from Amazon. They help during my workouts. I take them before and after, whenever I feel tired during the day. The next thing I use is vitamin water zero. Any type of sports drink zero will work. Gatorade zero, Powerade zero, any type of one that has no sugar in it. Um, the next thing I use is water if you don't like those. They have a lot of different alkaline and electrolyte waters out there now. This is my favorite one, Essentia. It's cheaper if you just go to the store and buy them in bulk, but they have them at 7-Eleven, Smart Final, whatever calls the store to you, they have alkaline water and electrolyte water. And I use those two when I go to the gym. Something else that's important for you to eat on keto are veggies. Broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. I like to get broccoli and cauliflower together, steam it up in the microwave for like four minutes, and then I just put butter on top of it. it tastes so good. Or else I get lemon pepper or whatever type of season to season it. Spinach I use too. I saute it in olive oil, put a little black pepper, a little garlic, a little seasoning. That's what I'm saying right there. <laughs> then the next thing I use is cucumber. I just chop that up and put it in my salad. I'm not really a cucumber lover, but I know it's good for hydration. I um, use lettuce, I get this kind because I just chop it up and cut it my own self and it's cheaper than getting the package kind. So those are things I keep. Another staple, another, not even a staple for keto, just in life that you should be keeping in your house is water. Um, make sure you drink a lot of water on this diet. It's just an important part, okay, of this diet is water. But in life, like even I've seen my skin, okay, clear up it wasn't that bad to begin with but still like i've seen like my edges are growing back like just bodily changes that you'll notice once you start doing this diet sticking to it especially drinking the water i have like really really like cut out juice for real like and that's <laughs> if you know me that's a huge thing for me that i'm like a juice head i love juice so yes i say all that to say make sure you drink a lot of water <laughs> See, i'm just making this video I'll try to tell you guys about different things that you will come to find yourself keep continuously buying over and over on this diet well at least for me so just make sure you keep stuff that you like like I like bell peppers y'all to get that if you like um 
what else? Asparagus. Asparagus is really good for keto. I don't like it personally. But there's a lot of different things that you can um, show. But these are things I keep in my refrigerator. So just to give you guys an idea of the type of things. like. And as far as my grocery list, I have an iPhone. So for any notes section will do in whatever type of phones have. So let's go to the notes section. Write your list out. And when you, when you have it, put a check next to it. When you don't have it, take the check off. That's how I do my list. I don't have to keep making a list every time I go, every time I go. That's how you deviate from your list. So in order for me to not deviate from mine, that's how I do it. But once you get started and get really going, you'll understand the type of things that you like, the type of things that you like to eat, how things you like to snack on that will satisfy your hunger. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, leave it, leave it in the bottom. Comment down below, like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see. If you guys wanna see more desserts, um, savory type of foods, like whatever you guys wanna see, let me know and I will make the video. So thank you so much again. I hope you have a good rest of your day and that's it. <laughs> see you in the next video. All right, bye.